Survive or Die, Inc., the choice is yours. And we're here at Rebel Village <clears throat> to give y'all an update on some things that has taken place to the village. So we were gone for a few months, and um, it was hella storms down here. I mean, terrible storms. So what you're looking at is the Danchel tent. Um, ah, boy. <laughs> so camp was pretty much done up. Ozark Trail tents, as you can see, are, uh, yeah, done up. And <clears throat> we had to do some major cleaning. Let, let's, let's start here. We had to do some major cleaning inside the Danchel. And we're going to get to this in a second. But I want to show you what happened. The mansion collapsed. When we came back, it was completely on the ground, soaked in water. So <clears throat> the problem was, dun, dun, dun. here lies the source. So <clears throat> as you can see, look at this big ass tent. Look at this little ass pole. And you can see right where it bent in half. All right, right at the joint, boom. And that's what caused the collapsing, the total collapsing of the Danchel tent. So we were able to get in it. Now, let's talk about the tent for a second. The good things, um, it had some water damage on the inside, but we're gonna talk about that in a hot second. But let's talk about the outside. Outside of the pole collapsing, The tent itself withstood. It was it was pretty good. The only thing, um, one little teeny tiny rip in it. Um, I had to roll the windows up to air it out and all that good stuff after we cleaned it. But for the most part, this tent stood its ground outside of. Dun, dun, dun. If that pole would not have. Dun, dun, dun. This tent would have withstood every single storm that has come through the, this village. Word is bond. So, let me show y'all what had to happen. So, let's show you what took place. So, it was hella water in here. All the windows were closed. What happened was the water was coming from the bottom. So it pooled under from the bottom and it was just soaked in here. So we got to remop again. One more good time. We just mopped the floors in here and letting the air dry. And uh, it was pretty bad in here. But the good thing is the only things that got wet was like the little rug. The rug was completely done. So and the moving blankets we had, you know, to keep the bed stable. Everything else in here was pretty damn dry, even though it was soaked on the outside with water. Now, I want y'all to take a look at that little rip right there. And that's from uh, possibly a tree. It was a lot of branches and stuff that was on top of the tent. Okay, so uh, that could have possibly done that. But that's what Gorilla Tape is for. You dig? So that's pretty much the only thing that happened. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> we got another one over here. That little one. So nothing bad, nothing super major. You know what I'm saying? That's some Gorilla Tape can't repair. You dig? So it just needs another good cleaning out um, on the inside. We're going to clean this out one more good time. Um, disinfect it again. You know what I'm saying? Because it was some things mildewed in here and all that kind of stuff. And we got to deal with these floors. But for the most part... This tent held up. Now, what I've done <clears throat> is added a one and a half inch PVC pipe. Okay? 
and I got the little rubber couplings for the top and the bottom of the PVC pipe. One and a half inch thick, y'all. All right, boom. Now, this is far more sturdier than that. I can't get to it right now, but y'all know I'm a Superman it, right? So this is far more sturdier. And I would suggest for these kind of tents, please do not use them weak ass poles that they send with y'all. So I ended up calling or contacting Dan Chell outdoors, contacted them, let them know, hey, you know, uh, you have my photos on your website and all that good stuff. Well, that was before I had to let them know who I was exactly. So I contacted them and said, hey, listen, the pole ain't shit. It completely bent. My tent was, you know, messed up really bad. So I'm going to just give you all the real story. So the lady says to me, well, you could purchase another one on Amazon for one hundred dollars. That's what they said to me. Purchase another one of these for one hundred dollars. So now I'm pissed. So that's when I had to let the kind lady know, hey, listen, you know that beautiful pic of the 16 by 16 tent that y'all have so beautifully promoted on your site? Yeah, that's me. That's me. So I was really pissed off about that and I felt very disrespected. You dig? So I kind of let her know I'm not paying $100 for that. So a few days later, I get a message from Dan Chell outdoors that said, hey, we just shipped you out a new pole for your tent. So I said, wow, thank you. I'm, that's how we do business. You dig? So not only did Dan Chell send me a new pole, but they also sent me a new tent. That's how you do business. You dig? So thank you, Dan Chell, for standing by your word of your product. You know what I'm saying? I have no affiliation with Dan Chell Outdoors. We're not promoted, uh, you know, sponsored by them or anything. Um, I just let them know what the real deal was. And that's how you handle business. So we're going to definitely repair, make, you know, gorilla tape it up and clean it. I'm getting ready to actually get into that right now, cleaning the outside and get all that gook and stuff off of it. And she'll be black to normal in just a little while. And then we're going to set up the other one. So I definitely appreciate Dan Shell for that. And again, that's how you do business. So keep your business up and up, folks. Keep your business up and up, folks. Stop selling cheap products and talking about they're waterproof and people getting soaking wet and the tents are just totally goddamn collapsing. Fiberglass poles when you got a 10 person tent. That doesn't make sense. Ozark Trail. But anyway, we're talking about Dan Chell today. So I thank y'all for tuning in. And this tent is definitely worth it. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you get you. Let me hold up. I got to do it. Can y'all see it? Make sure you get you a PVC pipe. Instead of. Dun, dun, dun. That's the only problem I have with this tent so far. This shit right here. Y'all got to stop that. So you need to make thicker, more sturdier poles, Dan Chell. And trust me, you won't have no complaints with this tent whatsoever. All right. So Survivor Die Inc., the choice is yours. We're going to get black with y'all. Power.